Uh, hi, my name is Nina Mdivani. Uh, I'm curator and art writer. Uh, I'm currently in New York uh, and I have Rusudan over here from Tbilisi. Hi, Rusudan. Hi, Nina. Um, and just to uh, set the context for a few questions I have for, for Rusudan today. So over the years we collaborated on different projects and the latest one is the ongoing showrooms and rings in Berlin at 68 projects that's going to be through January 9. And I just wanted to ask through Sudan, so what is different about this show uh, in Berlin? Because this year you have been exhibited in New York and in Copenhagen, in Tbilisi at the Museum of Modern Art. So what is different specifically about this painting from you in Berlin right now? Uh... So I do not want to label this uh, series of paintings like a pandemic uh, series. You know that the, everyone is uh, trying to make that. So and even the paint, the masks, etc., etc. So I do not want to, uh, to present this series of art which I did for this show like a pandemic. Uh, but I have to say that I have to mention that I painted exactly the time. Uh, since March until the se September. It, in September, I finished the last painting for this show. Uh, so I just started to paint. I just started to express myself what I'm feeling that times and uh, how I, I was missing the connection with the, the old world which we had. So it seemed that we lost, we've been in uh, uh, so we lost paradise that we didn't realize that before. Of course, I had the something about, I, I had some pieces for the show already, but then I finished them and link, linked them all together with the last three paintings I painted exactly before the show. S suddenly, we, we became alone in this world. So, and I, I, we've got um, more time for uh, looking into ourselves and uh, looking into our, uh, and finding the uh, researching the new layers we had inside of us. So it was a very interesting journey, and I can say that this journey still continue. Yeah, <laughs> so it continues continue. <laughs> in lockdown Berlin in the gallery that we yeah. unfortunately were not able to see in person, but we, we saw all the photos and videos, so it's exciting. Okay, next question. So, uh, who are the heroes and the protagonists of these new paintings there in Berlin? Uh, so, there are lots of questions about this uh, Being. black <laughs> beings. <laughs> exactly. Uh, in one hand, I can say that this, this is uh, like a conglomerate of energy. And uh, so, we know that e each of us, we have the uh, endless uh, energy so and it seems that uh, when we are coming to this world and uh, we have hands and uh, legs and uh, eyes and some and uh, ears so we also have something that it's not a pair mm. uh, so it seems like uh, this is a very uh, deep connection of us with the prehistoric times, this world a little bit different uh, because there are everyone who is running uh, for the political ideas, you know, and there are lots of social ideas in art. I understand it very well, but I have absolutely different idea. Yeah. Uh, but right now, everything I'm doing is around human beings, as I, I said it many times in some interviews, because you know that I, I'm really sad because the people seems that they have lack of humanity and i just want to show to the, everyone how humans are beautiful and uh, how their bodies are beautiful and uh, their soul is still wonderful so it seems that we have to stay for a while and see that we are still humans uh, and we have to catch ourselves uh, to connect us with these uh, beautiful things around. So it seems that we are forgetting about that. We are forgetting about our mission. 
the, yeah. the, 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 the planet is a human's planet, humans and animals, so this is about it. Yeah. Um, Rusudan, last question. Um, as this year is coming to a close, what is the one thing you're most grateful for in 20, for 2020? I know it has been a very trying year for all of us. And what is one thing that you're looking for in the new 2021? So, uh, despite of uh, all difficulties, uh, this, war, uh, this year was very good for me, like for artists. Uh, for my career, so I'm really thankful for that because I've got a few very interesting projects. So and uh, I'm really glad of that. So and uh, uh, I've got a lot of lessons from this year. The main is that we we have to enjoy every second, you know, that uh, our life, and there is no no time to lose every, every second. So you have to use everything. So maybe it's not right, but uh, I think that while we can do it, we still we we can we must do it. So and for the next year, uh, it's still uncertain and unpredictable yet. So, but I hope that uh, the next year will bring more success. For example, <laughs> because I have some projects for the next year, so I hope to the the old dreams come true as before. So. We'll see. I have no idea because before I had everything, I had plans. Uh, so and now I do not have any plans. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like that. No, but I, I'm sure that um, next year will. Uh, let's hope that you know some good changes will come globally and we will be able to, you know, implement our plans and projects as as we are envisioning them today. Great, Rusudan. Thank you so much. Have a good, good evening in Tbilisi. Okay, great. You too. Have a good day in New York. Thank you. <laughs>